Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to go into space? Because you can. You can live your dream as a Republican space ranger because the unholy Hellbringer and the Widowmaker are now available for a small price of around $400,000 each. Yeah, that's a lot of money. If you want to know how good these weapons are and all that good stuff, I'm planning on doing a little testing video on that tomorrow. Uh, so if you're still in doubt whether or not you want to spell nearly a million on two guns, then hold off on your purchase until I release that video tomorrow. I'm thinking it might already be uh, some interesting results in terms of how well these guns will perform compared to what already is into the game. Having said that, please do enjoy some gameplay because there are quite interesting guns and they're especially cool, you know, I mean, it's futuristic, you know, you could argue like what the fuck is happening to GTA Online and this and that, but I just, I, I just, I don't really, you know, give two shits. They're fun guns to use, they're cool, they, you know, they're, they shoot freaking laser beams, so I don't know. It's whatever. Let's just try to have some fun with it, I suppose. it. $400,000 seems to be a bit of a steep price to me. Uh, if you ask me, I think these guns should have been a whole lot less expensive because I think $400,000 for a gun is just way too much. But hey, you know, they're there. If you have the money for it and you want to, you know, mess around with them, then, you know, make sure to go and get them. If you are still a bit on the fence about it, then wait for my video tomorrow to make your decision then. Having said that though, if you are broke and you have bought these guns, then there's some good news for you because there's double cash in biker business sale missions. Now, if you already have an existing cocaine business, then, you know, go out there and buy some supplies. Don't actually steal supplies, it's a gigantic waste of time. You're much better off doing something else while that is filling up as well. If it's really worth it to go around and have literally every single business run at this time, uh, I personally think so, apart from Document 4, Tree. it's it's pretty decent like you can make a couple extra bucks and if it happens to be close to your other businesses if you are in Blaine County then I personally say you know why not if you already have it if you don't already own any of the biker businesses there is currently a 35% discount on all of them as well if you're just looking for a bit of an entry level to immediately get the best one then the cocaine business near LMOC is the one to go for personally I wouldn't really advise like buying more than one uh, this week because obviously there's also upgrade costs and stuff like that so just simply having a cocaine business running in the background it would be plenty if you don't already have a biker business definitely worth picking one up because selling a full cocaine business will get you a total of eight hundred and forty thousand dollars and if you're a solo player then make sure to not let your product go past one and a half bar because one and a half bar is still the point where you can sell as a single vehicle and you don't get stuck with three post OP fans because that would really suck. As far as other double cash in RP opportunities, there's double cash in RP in Arena War series, Hasta La Vista, Vehicle Vendetta, and the Vespucci job. So if you're looking to do something else as you're letting your bunker make you some money, that might be something to consider as well. As far as discounts go this week, there's 30% off facilities, 35% off the X80 Proto, the Hydra, the Shitaro, the Issy Classic, the Venture, and then 30% off the Wagner, the Truster, the Stromberg, and the Zentorno. One card to definitely pick up if you're planning on playing a lot of the Vespucci job is the Issy Classic. If you have a custom version of this car, you will be able to use it inside of this mode as well and get a little bit of an advantage. If it's really worth it to spend a couple hundred thousand on it and also to upgrade it, that's entirely up to you. Uh, but if you're planning on playing it, if you're planning on winning a lot of it, then it's definitely worth picking up. So the great vehicles to pick up is the Satoru and the Wagner, both some of the top vehicles within its class. And for the steep discount that is currently going on on both vehicles this is definitely worth picking up if you're looking for a bit of fun or a little bit of a throwback the Centorno is something that i've been really enjoying driving in supercar races and, and see if i can beat out those pesky Wagners while we're at it it's a, still a very fun car to drive and definitely worth picking up if you're looking to drive something else than a Wagner or any of those other top cars it's still a very competitive car so definitely worth picking up premium race this week is the wave luck to motorcycles and the time trial is power station and as always a quick and easy 50k if you manage to beat the time trial and then makes it the end of this event we guide if you enjoyed make sure to leave it a like subscribe for more and i'll see you all later